All right, that was fun. That was fine. I didn't get any uh, anything from it, but I didn't get damaged at all either, so that's pretty good. And Yoshi gets another item. So very basic uh, chance time thing. I know it's sort of like a lot more drawn out, but like it's a lot more intense because like you feel like you have actual control over it. It's not just a dice block thing anymore. Uh, tree stomp. This is a interesting mini game. Kind of difficult for the one player, but we'll see if I can make it out. Three players control robots while the other player runs. The runner must stay alive for 45 seconds to win. So I just gotta move around and avoid the tree things. There's a chance of catching a golden banana, which will make you faster, but be careful on how fast you get going, so it could actually be kind of a bad thing if you get it. Though you gotta make sure you get it, because if the robots get it, then it's gonna be even worse. Boom. 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 Shakalaka. I don't know. Very weird looking robots, but uh, if you actually knock them into each other, if they touch each other, then they get stunned for a little bit, so... They do a lot to help out the one player, so it's not too terribly difficult. And the banana peels do trip up the robots as well. Uh, we got that. They're just dancing around. Uh, with the banana. Ooh, golden banana! Oh, banana! Get me that banana! Oh no, don't fade out! Okay, cool. Go, 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 go! Gotta go fast! Ooh, another- I never saw two golden bananas. One game, what?! <sighs> that was unfortunate. Like, that's the thing. Like, you can't let them get it, but if you get it, then you might accidentally run into them. That was crummy. I think I'd run into Yoshi. <sighs> Fine. I can lose too many games and still be okay, hopefully. I recently played a Mario Party a game with Viz Nomadic. That's a thing. Uh, Viz Nomadic, they have a lot of crazy uh, witchcraft abilities to make it so uh, multi- uh, local multiplayer games could actually be played online, so I recently played an online multiplayer Mario Party 2 match with them, so if you missed the rage build Mario Party LPs, you can go over to that channel and look at those. But I was like, I was in first place the entire time, I hope that this gets released before, or after that thing gets released, so I'm not spoiling anything. And yeah, that happening space will reverse the junction, which is nice. But um... I was in first place for like the entire time, and I was always like panicking the entire time, being like, oh man, I'm not in first enough. And like, what are you talking about? You're in first, but I'm like, but I'm not in first enough. I need to be in more first. I need to have a safety net. And everyone thought I was crazy and just being like, I wasn't like satisfied of being first. But no, I was right. I needed that safety net because reasons. I won't spoil it for you, but you can only imagine what happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. Just don't get a seven because that would probably. Activate the roller coaster. Let's get eight or higher, or a six. <laughs> and uh oh, this is the first battle mini game, and it's activated by a bomb. Uh, no Goomba saying yo anymore, so I can't make One Piece references. It's battle game time. Let's see how much it'll cost to play. We got ourselves a ten coin game. Everyone can afford it. And forty coins are up for grabs. Let's see. Oh jeez, I. So the person who land on the space gets to decide. Bowser's Big Blast makes a return. You know Mario Party 2 had a lot of repeat minigames? Mario Party 4 thankfully only has one repeat minigame, and it's the luck-based battle game from Mario Party 2. I'm sure we'll see it eventually, but I'm not gonna be the one responsible for picking it. We're gonna go with this one. Yahoo! Yahoo! Trace the colored line on the ground. Whoever stays closest to the original line wins. Just gotta move around, follow the line, and hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully it goes a lot better than the sinking. What was that mini game where like your uh, crazy cutters from Mario Party One? Because like I always did good on it, but then like it was always like you did bad. Your score is terrible. Yeah. But the rating system's a lot better this time around because we're on the Nintendo GameCube. It's probably one of my favorite songs from Mario Party Four. It's such a nice song. You wouldn't expect it from a battle mini game, but whatever. Uh, just keep on outlining, and okay, doing good so far. No, like, never want to stop, but like, I wonder if you could go. Nah, you probably can't go backwards, cause like, as you can see, it's auto scrolling. But I don't want to risk it right now. Let's see if we can go backwards, and like, we can't fix a mistake, but like, if you miss something, you like fill it in instead. Well, let's not find out. Let's just do good on the first try, and not have to worry about it. Finish. Look at Luigi's. We got. Nine to four! Easy win! 
So first place is gonna get the majority of those coins. Second place gets their money back, basically. Third place, oh wait, Mario and Luigi tied, so they actually get a bit of money uh, shared, which is interesting. I think I actually got less money because of that, though. I was like, oh, I don't get as much money now. And sometimes there could be a pity coin, but no pity coin this time around, so Yoshi gets nothing. Yoshi is going to use his Mega Mushroom to no avail, I think. He is close to us, though, so we could take 10 coins from me and Luigi. I'd rather he didn't, though. A uh, five? And a one, okay. Might be safe. One, two, three, four, five. And we're good to go, cool. And he's gonna get another Mega Mushroom. Oh wait, Luigi has, god darn it, Luigi has 55 coins, I just realized. So if he gets a anything higher than a two, then he's getting that star that I've been like chasing for all along. I feel like I deserve that star more than anyone though. Like I survived a chance time and a battle game to get here, and then Luigi's gonna take it right from under my nose? I don't think so. Cheap cheap sweet. Catch the cheap cheeps in your net. Red cheap cheeps are worth one point and yellow ones are worth two points. Move and catch and empty the net. Simple enough. Killed up to three at a time, but you become slower every time you get one, so decide your strategy wisely. Start! Let's get a fish. Hey, Paula, come on over here and do some fishing with me. And yeah, also your walking speed affects whether or not they run. Oh wait, I forgot, you can actually hold down the net like this and just roll around. I forgot, that's a very important strategy that I don't really tell you. Right there. So instead of just pressing the A button to scoop, you just hold down the A button, then just roam around. And not happening. Okay. Slow walk, slow walk. My nose is so stinking itchy right now. I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, itch the schnoz. <laughs> It'd be really funny if, like, I want a Jaws movie where the shark just has a giant nose and they call it schnoz. At least fan art. That'd be funny. Uh, let's see. Okay. Sneak up on you. Okay, got one. Okay, got another. Come on. Yep, yep. Three. Thank you, Yoshi. You pushed me into the cheap cheeps. Let's go here. Can you get that last one, Yoshi? That'd be very cool. Yeah, we won this no problem. Uh, he's gonna get it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. We got one fish. Gets to swim freely. <laughs> swim freely? Fish free? Season three? Season free? Freezing three? I actually haven't seen it yet. I really seem want to. I haven't seen the movie yet. I think that's required viewing because the movie takes was actually canon. It's not just like, let's recap the entire first two seasons. I don't know why so many anime movies do that where it's just like they recap the show and make it a movie length and put it in a theater. I never liked those. And hey, last five turns. Uh, that means wildly fun, highly entertaining last five turns event may begin. Uh, let's grab the tickets for a lucky party ticket drawing. Please get your tickets ready. I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy that Toad is no longer the host because you won't have to hear me do the Toad voice every single board. So that means I should do it especially for this board because we won't get to hear it after this one. That would be a crying shame. I never got to a lottery thing? Oh geez. So I also like how their tickets are equal. Usually it's like a different characters every time, but no, they got Mario, 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 and Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi. Hmm, I wonder if that's Mario's middle name, Mario, Mario, Mario. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and do the left picture. And no winners, so there's no point in continuing. Wow, we didn't have a winner today. That means no prizes this time around. So, let's see, look at ticket drawing. So let's take a look at our current standings. Mario's first place. Uh, Daisy, second place. Ow. Yoshi's third place, and Luigi is dead last. Like I was just dead last. How long will these standings hold? Is there an upset in the making? We'll have to see. Now the big event, the last five turns, roulette event. Luigi spins the wheel. So it isn't just a coin multiplier every time. Sometimes it can be something cool and different. I said something cool and different. Ugh. Okay, we'll start with the basic standard fair coin multiplier. I think from here on out, if it's the coin multiplier, then I'll do a hashtag reset just so we can see something different because I really always thought it was super lame when it's just like, oh, the coin multiplier, you get six coins when you land on a space. So exciting. We've done that like nonstop for the last uh, three Mario Party games. So I'd like to see something different. Hopefully that'll happen in the future boards. So we got five for Mario, he's going downwards. And he's gonna get an item, let's uh, see, let's uh, find out. Uh, he's got this little Mega Mushroom, ooh, very nice, that's uh, so nice. I like the Mega Mushroom, like a spicy meatball. Luigi, it'd be very funny if Luigi like used the pipe right now. Oh, he's using the mini mushroom, okay. Make it even more likely that he'll get a one or a two. 
Hopefully he does, because I'd really like it if he didn't get that star. He gets a four, of course he does. So I guess I don't get that star either. I'm probably gonna use the magic lamp now because I don't want to waste any more time with this. I want to get a star too. I'm McLucky. And I don't like that Luigi has like a deep voice now. I like it better when he hadn't gone through puberty. Uh, that one's gonna be annoying to get, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my magic lamp right away. And Luigi gets a mini mushroom refund, it seems. I don't know why he used that. Just give me a little bit of hope, but of course he got crushed. Uh, just so you, is, wait, are there dual mini games in this game? I don't remember if there are. I feel like there are, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and use the magic lamp and summon the genie of the lamp! And I gotta say, out of all the Mario Party genies, Mario Party 4's is supreme. You called, Master? I am known as the Genie of the Lamb. I will take you to the star as you wish, Master. Kalamazam! Congratulations, Daisy! Would you like to trade coins for a star? Well, here's your star! <laughs> Best genie ever. You were wondering how they could top riding on his butt while well, they just stinking did it. It's like stinking made of gold. He's so stinking huge and like just drumming on his tummy and he just jumps and like shakes you over to the star. And like, I never wished for the star. Like I could have, why didn't I wish for like a free star or wish to like win the game period? I don't know. And of course, there's like limits to the genie. Hey, another happening space. Very good for me. Uh, is the Oracle going to hit anyone? It's gonna hit me! Hooray! Hey, closer to the lottery. All right, less uh, spaces I have to walk, which is nice. Uh, you should get a one. Poor guy. Get six coins because that thing is activated. Hooray! I'm um, with Luigi. Lucky mini game. It's time for a lucky mini game. You can earn more coins than usual. Let's play the roulette. Set the amount. Two. So now we're gonna get coin multiplier two. Very nice. And I believe it's just a regular, yeah, it's just a regular minigame, nothing special, it's just that you get more points if you win. Reverse the bomb! Yeah. Press the corresponding buttons to redirect the bombs. Blow the other team up ten times to win. Move and press. Explosions stop you from moving for a little while, so when you hit those buttons, uh, light up, get them to, uh, get to them quickly. Now, I'm gonna try not to go on too many Mario Party The Top 100 rants because, as you all know, I stink and hate that game. It is the definition of missed potential. But one of the most annoying things in that game is just the slight changes to, like, the characters and what they do. In Mario Party The Top 100, this minigame is featured, and every time a character pushes a button, they have a little sound clip, a little voice of them saying something, a little cheering noise. Like when Daisy is hitting a button over, she's like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, and then Mario's like, oh, 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 and Yoshi's like, lashy, lashy, like, you're pushing a button! It's not that exciting! You don't need to have a celebratory screech for pushing a button! It was so stinking annoying, and I was like, how could you mess up Mario Party so badly? I'm sorry, but do not buy Mario Party the Top 100. It is an absolute sham of a Mario Party compilation. It is so horrible. My stinking god, I could go on a whole stinking rant. Well, I actually did go on a whole stinking rant. I'll probably, if I can remember, I'll link my Mario Party Top 100 review in the description. It's just so terrible. Oh my god. There's nothing good about that game. Don't stink and get it. Lottery shop, what do we got? At least we got a good Mario Party game that we're playing right here. Rotate. Wait. I don't know what, but like, last winter season was like just the season of crummy games getting released left and right. Like, I remember just being really upset with a lot of the games I was getting like consecutively in a row. Like, Mario Party Top 100 was bad. Uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon was a complete 
cash grab. It was a complete lie of a game. It's not a new game at all. Like, took everything I liked about Sun and Moon and got rid of it. It's so sick and horrible. And Sonic Forces was a very big disappointment. It was just like, left and right, I was just getting so many crummy games that were like all coming out one after another. Uh, hopefully that won't be the same this time around. Or yeah, this time around of like the holiday season, I guess you could say. Finally, I got to a lottery. Let's see if I can win anything. Uh, let's see if I can get anything good. Nope. <laughs> Sometimes it's like easy to spin the wheel, other times it's like, uh, super stiff or something like that. I don't know how to say it without saying, no, it's something super suggestive. I don't know what is all these S words, but whatevs. Gonna go this away, to the right, to the right. There's a lot of parts of this board that we don't actually get to see, that's kind of unfortunate. So there's replayability if you don't get to see all the parts of the board, which is very cool. And Yoshi's gonna go and get another one! My god, I'm sorry, Yoshi. Not your day. It's definitely not your birthday, that's for sure. Yeah, that's really crummy when you think about it. Like, it's our birthday and they're celebrating with Mario Party. We're like, what if we lose? Like, are they letting us win on purpose so that we can have a happy time on our birthday? If we lose, then it's just like, we have a crummy birthday. I don't know how this works, but whatever. I do know how domination works. You just press A as fast as you can. That's all you need to know. <laughs> just one of those mini games. You actually do get a reward. Sorry for cracking on camera. I usually do that when I'm cutting away, but I was talking at the same time. Um, usually, you do get a reward if you could get uh, at least 100 in domination. So... Uh, we'll talk about that reward at the end of the LP, though! Uh, let's see, do I still got it? Do I still got my button pressing skills? Let's find out. Oh, I definitely do. But is it more than 100? Exactly 100! Alright! I think that alright was deserving. Huh. <sighs> Very stinking cool. And now we have 107 coins. Very, very nice. Last three turns. Things are wrapping up. Number 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's see, last second lottery for Mario. Uh, the ball rolling once again. Once again. Lucky. Oh, hey, he got a blue prize. So he's third place prize. He gets a mushroom. Super mini mushroom. Not sure if that'll be super mini helpful to him, but we'll see, I guess. Uh, he could use- oh, no, he's just about to pass it, unfortunately. And we got a battle game! Let's see which one he's gonna choose. Never rely on the computer players to not choose Bowser's Bigger Blast, but we'll see. Everyone loses 20 coins this time around, and... Oh, hey, he didn't pick it! Hooray! I love this mini game. this is super fun. Yeah, the most epic battle mini game. Butterfly Blitz! Catch the butterflies fluttering about. Make sure to catch the most. Move, swipe the net upwards, swipe it sideways. Butterflies of different colors have different point values. Yellow is one point, red is two, and blue is three. You found the butterfly patch. Play it again. <laughs> Very specific references that nobody but me is gonna get. I uh, got that one. I like how they just explode when you get them. But no, we're not killing them, don't worry. This is Mario Party. Even though it's an extreme battle mini game, we are still kind to the wildlife. Very pretty area, it looks very nice. Just admiring the scenery, and I'm doing very crummy right now. Come on, get butterflies. Oh, I'm doing really bad this time around. Can't get that one. Uh, go over here. Uh, go over here, come on. Yes. Got that, got that. It's a very long minigame, too. It's like a minute long. Uh, let's see, I got that one, that one, no, give me the butter, fly, butterflies fly away, I say, butterflies fly away, yeah, there's a reason mini games aren't a minute long usually, because you run out of things to talk about, yeah, it's specifically for LPs, yeah, because Nintendo always has the best interest of Let's Players in mind, speaking of that, there's a new thing added on YouTube where, like, you get, there's a special tab where you can see, if you submit your uh, footage or audio for copyright, there's a special tab where you can see like all the videos on YouTube as a whole and see like which videos uploaded by other people use your copyrighted material or have gotten a uh, claim to have been using it or not, even if it isn't accurate or whatever. Like, the, and you can actually choose to delete the video right then and there. It's like at the click of a button. And then, like, I saw like a picture of Thanos who was like, I could destroy you all the snap of my fingers. <laughs> But that's just like too much power for Nintendo, and I'm really afraid of them abusing that. Oh boy, hopefully they don't. 
That wasn't the, that was just the beginning of that, that turn. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, we got five for Luigi. Go in there. Any good items? I doubt it. Oh, that's bad. Uh, do not let Luigi get more coins. That's for sure. Cause Boo's crystal ball. You want Boo on the go? Well, now you do. If he, I think you only need five points to. It's either free or five points to steal coins from another player. Or, wow, that's very crummy. <laughs> so, or you could use uh, pay Boo fifty coins to steal a star from someone. Hopefully, he does not get fifty coins before the game ends. That would be very, very bad. Oh, hey, I know how way that I could prevent him from getting fifty coins. Very, very convenient. They're both right sinking in front of me. So I'm gonna get 20 coins very, very easily. We got ourselves a 10 and one. <laughs> Pew! 20 coins very, very easily. And I got a happening space. Things are coming up, Millhouse. Oh, but I'm going the other way. I didn't want to go this way. And we're all going around here, burning around town. And oh, the star space is right there. God darn it! Uh, Yo oh, hey, Yoshi's gonna show off the little carousel thing. That's cool. So it all worked out in the end. Gonna go mini. I don't think anyone's gonna get that star unless it's like a last second lamp, but I doubt it. Uh, he can win an item. That Sparky sticker right there. That's really sinking annoying. It put it, you put the sticker on a random space on the board, and anyone who steps on it, then they start losing coins. They lose, I think, five, three or five coins for every space they walk afterwards, and it's really sinking bad. Uh, that swap card though, it lets you switch items with another player, so that could be very useful. And he also just got a super mega mushroom, which is also very useful in general, as we all know. Five, four, three, two, one. He's going to go back to us, isn't he? That'd be very stinking funny. Oh, over to Mario. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that Mega Mushroom for now. Hopefully. And time for a minigame. Four player. We got ourselves three throw. A lot of people love this minigame because it's basketball. Everyone loves the basketball. So you just gotta try and make the most shots in the moving baskets. Jump and shoot. I actually did get a copy of, not recently, but I got a copy of NBA Street V3 after looking for it for so stinking long. I remember I rented it Blockbuster once and like, I remember I was finally able to rent it and I was so stinking happy. But then I uh, opened it up in the car and it was the Xbox version, not the GameCube version. I didn't have an Xbox. I was like, oh no, I can't play it. So we ran back in I was like, uh, can I get the GameCube version? They're like, oh, we're sold out of that one. And it was really crummy. I, I think I did rent it once. I did. I do remember playing it once, but I was. I've been looking for a copy for so stinking long, and I'm so happy that I finally got one. Uh, can I get a basket? Jeez. I think the yellow one, the middle hoops are worth more, but it doesn't really matter because. Uh, yeah, NBA Street V3. That's a such a weird game. I definitely would want to do that as an April Fool's Day LP, but like, I don't know if I can because it's filled with copyrighted music. So uh, maybe I'll put on Viznomatic. <laughs> they like to live on the wild side, right? No. Uh, I'd like to upload it somehow. We'll see if I can do it. Last two turns. And a tutu! Mario got to do it in the last two, two turns! Uh, very appropriate. One, a two. And okay, Luigi. He's only got 25 coins. Oh, he's gonna use it now. Okay, fine. Fine by me. I got coins to spare, that's for sure. He's gonna steal coins from me, of course. I like how I just disappear. Press A repeatedly to escape! And of course you can never escape! Still 20 coins, jeez. I'd rather lose 20 coins than a star, though. Especially in, like, the last two turns. That'd be really sick and crummy. Oh, speaking of losing stars, my god. I'm at least safe with the bonus star, so I don't think I have to do a hashtag reset if this ends up going badly for me. Because I gotta keep in mind, I still have to win every board, so... Maybe I might have to do a hashtag reset in this LP. Who knows? I really wasn't expecting to because I'm just so good at this Mario Party. Maybe because I've always played on the easy because I always win. Okay, cool. I'm not the giver. I'm not the giving tree. And Yoshi's gonna be giving stuff to... Come on, give it to good old Daisy. It's her birthday after all. Nope. Given to Mario. Wow, well, first we have Mario to Yoshi, now we have Yoshi to Mario. For her reference. Oh, uh, we got uh, Boo over here. Now I love Boo's outfit the most because like it's all wizardy and stuff. You are a wizard, Boo. 
They're trading. Oh, Yoshi's giving a star to Mario. Does he have a star? He doesn't even have a star. What's up? Uh, Yoshi doesn't even have a star. Guess we're not gonna do anything. <laughs> That's it. See ya. I've always wanted there to be merchandise of the the five show hosts with uh, their little outfits on, but there's never been one. Uh, maybe people make custom figures or like a custom. Those would be very easy custom amiibos to make because very cool ideas. Uh, let's just hit the dice block. Four. One, two, three, four. I don't think there are dual mini games in this game. Like, what replaces? Oh, I remember what replaces the dual mini games. Uh, we'll see soon enough. So let's see. Yoshi gets a mega mushroom. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yoshi gets an eight, a seven, and a ten. My God, that's a good roll. Uh, he's coming for us. We're probably not going to be able to avoid this. Oh wait, no, it's a different- is it a different pathway? Yay, I don't get to lose coins this time around! Yoshi's just walking around town. Do, 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 do. He's just going like a complete circle. Wow, that'd be hilarious. Does he steal coins from Mario after all that? He does! Wow! That was a very roundabout way of getting 10 coins from Mario, and also from- of getting the junction to go the way you wanted it to go. And we got ourselves everyone's favorite minigame, Book Squirm. This is the fan favorite minigame from Mario Party 4. You're on a giant book and you gotta avoid getting flattened by the evil pages. Find a hole in the falling page that, and position yourself so that you fit through the next page. Move around and just try to survive, basically. It's a very fun minigame just to see like who lasts the longest. Hopefully it'll be me. Like as if there's any uh, doubt in that, but whatever. But whatever, let's just stand over here. Very easy to see at first because it goes so slow. Then it starts speeding up and it becomes scary. <laughs> yeah, it's not, ex not that exciting when it starts up, but trust me, it gets better, it gets better. And then you're just like, how long is this stinking book? What is this stinking lay Miz or whatever? Over here? And then in here. And wait, where did Luigi go? I guess he died. He was so insignificant that I didn't even notice his death. <laughs> I like how Nintendo like posts on their Twitter with like the Simon trailer. It's like Luigi's okay. I like how I don't know what's funnier, the fact that they felt the need to address that because like it was such a big concern of whether or not Luigi was dead, or the fact that Luigi's safety was import was only important enough to like make a tweet about it, it wasn't like an official statement where it was like Luigi's fine, don't worry about it. It was thinking hilarious.